So, you're telling me, Dominate. if I don't get all my perks, I'll die. Jason Statham is the specialist. What's up ladies and gents, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Ghostware. Today, today I get stuck within 10 seconds of starting the game because I am just the world's biggest noober kaboober. Haven't played Ghosts in three weeks prior to this game, so I'm still shaking off the rust. And this is the result of all that rust. Getting stuck between assembly lines and walls and Levolution stuff. But luckily, Levolution moves. So <laughs> it got out of my way so I can do what I do best. And that, my friends, is sitting in corners and capturing flags. Because capturing flags just makes me happy inside. People see that. People capturing flags. That makes them happy, too. PTFO always always fun to do. If you don't already do that yourself, eh, give it a try. I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. As I'm sure you may have noticed, the graphics are looking a little bit more cleaner than usual. A little sharper. Colors a tad more vibrant. Got a few more blue arrows on my mini-map here. Plus, if the video has actually processed on YouTube, you'll notice that, that there is a fancy 1080p option for your viewing pleasure. Why is all this stuff here? Because I now have an Xbox One. And I decided to pick up Ghost, put it through its pace because I can actually use the Xbox One. And here we are now. So how did I end up with an Xbox One? Honestly, I still was not planning on getting an Xbox One at least for another six, seven months, maybe even a year. But Rusty was at my house for fights, and he just brought up that he is has absolutely no time to play video games anymore. You know, the joys of being an adult and having a demanding job. <laughs> Fortunately for him, he's not like it like me. He can sit on his rump, spout nonsense, play video games, and make a decent living doing so. <laughs> he was not so fortunate. So he had to get rid of his day one Xbox that he pre-ordered. And I figured, well, I'm going to get one anyway a year from now. Maybe longer for that. from that. Chances are the price is still going to be the same. I've got one right here in front of me. May as well get it. Get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And now I have an Xbox One. Funny thing. That's how I have a Wii U too. Same exact scenario, just switching out the consoles. But unfortunately, in the Wii U's case, it doesn't have anything I really want to play. At this point, I'm just waiting for Super Smash. Oh, man, I hope that game's online is not laggy. So I, I love I love playing Brawl. I know it got a lot of hate for not being melee and having the wave dashing and the L canceling and all those fancy techniques. But I definitely got my money's worth out of Brawl. But why I stopped playing it is I was mostly an online player. And playing against anyone outside of Texas was just a nightmare. And as I started getting better and better, uh, the people I was playing against getting better and better were also getting further and further away. And it's just win or lose. It's not satisfying when there's like a second delay, especially in a fighting game. Playing a fighting game with a delay is just an absolute nightmare. Had to put it down. I mean, it's so bad that I can't even play with Spoon, and he doesn't live that far away from me. Plus, you know, we can play like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat and not have any lag whatsoever at all. So... Brawls online is just not well done at all. I really hope Wii U Super Smash is much, much better in that aspect. Otherwise, I'm going to be very angry. Very, very angry. But anyway. So, funny story. Another funny story. <laughs> Xbox One controller. Day One controller. had the Day One logo on it and all. It was Day One broken. So, what was broken about it was the left trigger... It was not pressing down, and then eventually I just said, screw it. I'm just going to push it down as hard as I can, get it to give. And when it did give, it stayed held. <laughs> yeah. So instead of right trigger hold, it was left trigger hold. Now, if it had been right trigger hold, I think I may have been able to salvage it because I, I've actually proven this. You can actually play a round of Call of Duty, do nothing but hold the right trigger, and still do decently well. Well, decently well playing like that is pretty much going positive, which I have done. It's some session I did on Black Ops 1. I don't remember which one. Went with M60 Big Ammo. Just held the trigger the whole game, and I actually didn't do bad. So if it was right trigger hold, I could have salvaged it. But left trigger hold in Call of Duty, you... Okay, no... You know me. I don't like playing like a snail, and I'm playing Domination. Hard to fit in all the perks I want, so I can't really use Stalker, and it's it it would it wouldn't have worked out. 
And now I feel really bad about it because I told Rusty the check I cut him, he's not allowed to cash it in until he brings me a functioning controller. And he tried going through the proper channels in order to get a new controller from Microsoft, but he just said, screw it, I don't got time for this shit, and just bought a, sh a new controller straight up. And now I feel really bad about it because one thing he mentioned is he sold it to me straight up for 540 bucks, and he just said, I'm losing money on this deal, I'm losing $4.00. 86 cents. <laughs> I got I got a little break on, on the tax there. And on top of the tax, he is also now out 64.94, I think it is on the controller. And <laughs> I feel I feel really bad about it. So thank you Microsoft for your day one broken controller. That is just a stellar product. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. But at least I can use the Xbox One and record unlike Sony and their PS4 stupid stupid bullshit. Uh, HDCP protection. Uh, so much it did for them because people can get around it anyway. Uh, I could get around it, but I don't want to pay for it. I don't think I should have to. But, and, they, and they said they're going to fix it anyway. So I figured I'll just wait it out. There's nothing on PS4 that is in immediate that is in immediate need needing. That needs to be immediately played. Okay, there, that's, that's a good way to put it. That needs to be played, so I'll just save my money, wait till they fix it, and maybe by then we'll have some games out to play. So, I know there's options out there, I just don't want to waste the money doing so. It's just when they're going to fix it anyway. Next-gen games, next-gen consoles actually in general, there's not really much to play right now. So, yeah, there is that. Call of Duty Ghosts. I have not played this game in a while, if you remember. It's not because I hate the game, but if you know my stance on Call of Duty in general, you know I'm not its biggest fan, but in the case of Call of Duty Ghosts, it's just, I got a lot of stuff going on right now as far as gaming goes. Lots of stuff I can play. I'm doing tons and tons of live streaming. Assassin's Creed 4, Retro Rampage, Daisy, Saints Row 4 with Waldo Dude. I mean, all those games are very, very fun. And Call of Duty, it does have its moments, but it's not that fun. And it was on the low end of the totem pole, so I cut Call of Duty Ghosts out. And especially after I played World at War. That session I did with Anthony was very, very fun. Had tons of fun doing it. Been trying to get a second session going with Anthony and Spoon this time. But we're having trouble sort of being all on at the same time. Someone ends up having like something come up. So we haven't been able to get that to happen yet. But know that it is in the pipelines. We're trying our best to get it to happen. So there is that. But Call of Duty Ghosts, I mean, I don't hate it, like I said, but it's just this game, to me, it's just it just seems bland. It's just, it's very formulaic. The guns, they aren't that fun to use. I mean, it, they do their job, which is great. It's just the sounds, the maps, I really don't like the maps. The maps kind of, kind of suck. <laughs> Especially after playing World at War. You know, World at War, I wasn't like that game's biggest fan when that came out. To me, it had to do with, like, console MP40 domination and all that stuff, but at the same time, I was still playing Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was still very popular at that time, so that may have had to, may have had something to do with it as well. Compared with Call of Duty, man, Call of Duty 4 is the best! <laughs> Am I right? But after playing World at War, it's definitely, I've changed my opinion on it. It's been very, very fun to do. Guns are fun, maps are fun. I wish I could play War, but PC... The only thing that's really up is TDM and Search and Destroy, and I think hardcore servers and TDM I could deal with. It's pretty fun to play. So, <clears throat> I would like War, but there's just not the population to support it. I don't even, even if there was, there's just no servers up for it, and I don't really feel like paying for a server. So, yeah, and the console world at War I hear is just hacked to all hell. People flying all over the place, and yeah, I think I'll pass on that. World of War on PC, if you're thinking about getting it, there is a server still alive that is in America. If you are foreign, you might be SOL. But World of War on PC, if you're American, definitely playable. No hackers. I do believe there are mods on consistently, so if there's anyone who does decide to hack, they will be kicked. So, yeah, World of War on PC, good, good, clean, fun. Ghost, on the other hand, uh, I'll try to make an effort to play a little bit more, because I do know people want to see ghosts. But it's just right now, I got a lot on my plate, and Ghost is not the funnest thing on that plate. So the funnest thing that is on that plate, or the least fun thing on that plate, got to toss it aside, throw it out the airlock, and Ghost, unfortunately, wins that prize. So 
I'll try to make an effort. We'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, that was Call of Duty Ghosts on Xbox One. Yay, next gen. Now I own all of them. Yay. I only use one of them. Money well spent, right? All right. I'm outie. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, be soup.